Ladies and gentlemen, we have entered an absolute clown world state. Yes, we started going there hard and heavy long ago, but it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. What could I possibly be referring to? Well, we're going to start off with this little article from Variety where the Queen Cleopatra director speaks out what bothers you so much about a black Cleopatra. Um, I would call that historical accuracy. That's what bothers people so much about a black Cleopatra. Now, for me, I genuinely stopped caring a long time ago who they want to race swap, who they want to gender swap. My whole concern has always been, is the character good? Did they perform it? However, when you get into historical figures, Anne Boleyn, Cleopatra in this case, it is very difficult to believe that there's any other reason you're race-changing these characters other than ideological bullshit. So let's check out what the article is. There is some juicy, juicy stuff. Quote, It's more likely that Cleopatra looked like our, looked like our actor than Elizabeth Taylor ever did. Now, I will agree with that one. However, uh, Cleopatra was, I believe, Macedonian, Greek, um... She, she didn't have that much of a tan. But you know what? I don't know because I wasn't there. Last summer, I was living in Venice Beach and had decided to... This is all from... This, this is from Queen Cleopatra director. Last summer, I was living in Venice Beach and had decided, due to a friend's persistence, to visit a fortune teller. That's how you start your discussion off. Me, ever the skeptic, but game for a laugh. Because everyone else needs a laugh by reading this article. Agreed to go along. What the fortune teller said made me roll my eyes. Quote, I'm not saying you are, Cleopatra, but someone you share a story. Somehow you share a story and are connected. Less than a month later, I got a call from a production company making Jada Pinkett Smith's African Queens and was subsequently hired to direct a four-episode drama documentary. Now, this is a very important word, documentary. Documentaries are based on real people, real-life events. Not fiction. This is non-fiction. I remember as a kid seeing Elizabeth Taylor play Cleopatra. Now, that would come off as strange to people today because, well, that's what it is. However, many, many moons ago, well, whether it was intentional or not, Hollywood was very segregated at the time, but they still wanted to make movies. So, you got the actress who was beautiful because Elizabeth Taylor was smoking hot at the time with talent. Remember that? The meritocracy, we need to go back to that. But there's an interesting quote. Here's our lovely director here, or with a blurred photo. I don't know why you would use that, but why wouldn't Cleopatra be melanated sister? Uh, because she wasn't from that area? Because that's not where she was? Geography's a bitch. And why do some people need Cleopatra to be white? Uh, nobody wants her to be white. They want her to be Egyptian, Macedonian, Greek from that area. Hmm. Her proximity to whiteness seems to give her value. No, it doesn't. Her her ability to rule and use her body to gain power. Uh, that's what she was about. But anyway, but for some Egyptians, it seems to really matter. Yeah. Historical accuracy. Oh my goodness. Having the character look like what you see, what you think they are. My God. Why is that such a confusing thing for Hollywood nowadays? But let me get to the part that is just absolutely fantastic. This is from the director of the movie. Hmm. Let's see. As the production got near, I realized the magnitude and political nature of this job, because you made it that way. It was important to get things right, but you have no intention of getting anything right because you're changing the race of a historical figure. Anne Boleyn. But also to find a way of telling the story with humanism and nuance. The last thing we needed was another Cleopatra divorced from her womanhood and her power only sexualized. Um, y'all, please correct me in the comments, but I believe Cleopatra, that's what she was. She was a sexual leader. She used her JJ to get power, to gain everything she wanted. She seduced men. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Was she intelligent? Probably. Was she conniving? Probably. Did she use her body to get what she wanted? Yes. So... 
The HBO series Rome portrayed one of the most intelligent, sophisticated, and powerful women in the world as a sleazy, dissipated drug addict, which she was. Yet Egypt didn't seem to mind. What may, why, why do you think that is? I mean, if Egypt didn't mind them portraying Cleopatra as a sleazy, dissipated drug addict, maybe it's because, yeah, that was pretty much correct, you know. Where was the outrage then? But portray her as black? Well, of course there's outrage, because she wasn't. Here's the favorite part of the quote, and then we'll continue. Perhaps it's not just that I've directed a series that portrays Cleopatra as black, but that I have asked Egyptians to see themselves as Africans, and they are furious at me for that. Can, can someone give her a, a map? Teach her some geography? Um, I, where, where's Egypt? Egypt is in Africa. Egypt is part of Africa. So Egypt's are Africans. Are you trying to say that Africans, only Africans are black? Egyptians aren't black? So because Egyptians aren't black, then they're not African? That, that's, that, that, I believe that's the definition of racism. But exactly how, how upset are the Egyptians about this lovely little portrayal? And here's where we get into the clown world part, because I never thought I would see this. Netflix is being sued. <laughs> Netflix sued for depicting Cleopatra as black, and I just got a kick out of this. An Egyptian lawyer on Sunday filed a lawsuit over Netflix's upcoming Queen Cleopatra, accusing the streaming service of, quote, erasing the Egyptian identity for depicting the ruler as a black woman. Now, Mahmoud, Mahmoud, I'm, a, I'm sorry, Mahmoud, Al Samari, so you can't go after him because if you go after him, well, you're just a bigot, you know, you're nasty, foul, putrid person because, you know, he's a minority. Submitted the legal complaint with Egypt's public prosecutor following the recent release of the trailer for the docudrama series, which premieres May 10th. It's going to bomb. His filing not only requests legal action be taken against the makers of the show, but for Netflix to shut down in India. Wow. Quote, most of what Netflix platform displays does not conform to Islamic or societal values. You got that right. And principles, especially Egyptian ones, Mahmoud El Samari said in his complaint, according to the Egypt Independent. I this is a day I never thought I would ever see where someone actually stands up to this kind of bullshit. If you want to portray Cleopatra, portray Cleopatra. Be historically accurate. But you want to make excuses for ideological changes and race changes. Again, eh, I had no intention of watching this ever. I didn't watch the original uh, Cleopatra. I've never been interested in that part of history. I like westerns now and then. My favorite genre is sci-fi. But I just got a kick out of this. Netflix is being sued for being ideological. What do you think? I wonder how far this is going to go. Ah, <sighs> disagree. Oh, wait, there's more? Hold on. We don't often get to see... Wait, da, 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 da. Um, let's see. Jada Pinkett Smith serves as the executive producer, and she is quoted in a promotional material from Netflix as saying, We don't often get to see or hear stories about black queens. That's because you're going in the wrong place, you dumb bitch. There are countless stories in... Afri like black African folklore, history, mythology that you could be going you, you, you could be doing, but you don't want to. You want to change everyone else's history. You want to go into Norse mythology and change things. You want to dig into the Little Mermaid and change things. You want to go into all these old stories that have been beloved for decades upon decades and change things to suit your own needs, whether it's a gender swap or a race swap, instead of either A, coming up with your own stories or actually going into the mythology of black Africa. Yes, I said black Africa, not, Af not African American because that sucks. No. The Zulu tribes. That's something I've always been interested in, based, you know, pretty much kind of where I grew up on, grew, where I grew up. My little melting pot of the United States. I was exposed to all kinds of different black history, whether it was Haitian or African. I did. 
and I found it interesting. And why they don't want to make stories about that, I don't know. Are they worried about being too stereotypical or too cliche? You don't want to portray an African tribe wearing African tribal gear from 100 years ago? Get over yourself. Just portray it the way it was. It may not be the way it is now, but portray it the way it was then. Go find those stories. Adapt them correctly. Put them to the screen correctly without any major changes. And you might be surprised about how much money you would make. But no, you have to sit here and gender swap, race swap, all this other stuff. And you wonder why. And then the story on top of that is garbage. So the shit fails. That was a tangent. <sighs> we don't often get to see or hear black stories, black queens, and that was really important to me as well as for my daughter. And just for my community to be able to know those stories because there are tons of them. Then adapt them, the real ones. However, many historians and experts on Egypt, ancient Egypt disagree with Pinkett Smith, instead saying Cleopatra was of Macedonian heritage and likely fair-skinned. Ooh, but not everyone shares this use. Yes, because people just, you weren't there. Who cares? Make a good story. But heh, Netflix is being sued. I wonder where this is going to go. That's all I'm going to say about this. I ran my mouth too long. Thank you for making it this far. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you on the next one.